Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over how you calculate the number of diagonals that exist in any polygon. And the way I'm going to do this is to show you, uh, we'll start with the simplest polygon and then we'll calculate the number of, we'll, we will actually draw the number of diagonals. We'll move up one side, we'll do the number of diagonals there, we'll keep on moving up one by one, and we'll see if there's any kind of a pattern we can discern. And then after that I'll give you the formula for this, okay? So let's, let's start from the simplest polygon that we know, and that's a triangle. Now remember that a diagonal starts at a vertex, and it goes, it's a line, that line segment that's drawn to the next non-consecutive vertex in the polygon. Now what does that mean? So if I start here, I want to go to not the one that's adjacent, but the, or the consecutive one, but the one that's next to it, the next non-consecutive. But what ends up happening in a triangle is there are no non-consecutive vertices, right? So in a triangle that has three sides, let's put the sides on this side, there are zero diagonals. Okay? Now let's go to the next one up. So let's go to a figure that has four sides, uh, you know, rectangle, square, that sort of thing. And let's start the process over. If I start at this vertex, remember I cannot draw a line to the next consecutive one, but to the one that's non-consecutive. So I can go straight across here. All right, and that's, and that's it. Let's go to this one. And I can see, again, I can't go there, but I can go there, and that's it. If I start here, I already have one drawn. And if I start here, I already have one drawn. So in total, I've got two diagonals. So four-sided figures, two diagonals. All right, let's move on to the next uh, number of sides, which is five, or a pentagon. Now, if I start there, I can't go here, but I can go there. I can draw a line segment or diagonal to this one here as well. Can't go to the ones on either side. So let's go here. Again, I can go there, and I can go there, not here or here. When I get to this one, there's already one drawn, but there is one more left that I can do straight across. And then this one is already taken. These are already taken. Now, how many diagonals did I draw there? So with a five-sided figure, I drew, and let's, let's just count them right out, okay? So this one here, one. Let's go to this one, two. This one, three. This one has already been taken, counted, all right? This one, and four. This one already been taken. This one would be five. This one already taken. This one already taken. So in total, with a pentagon, there are five diagonals. Now, a lot of times what we do in math, we try to see if there's some kind of a pattern that exists. And, and three numbers are probably a little too few to figure out what this pattern is, but uh, I, I don't want to do, go to six because, again, it gets a little complicated. So I'm just going to give you the formula to determine this, right? Now, the formula is this. N times N minus three divided by two will give you the number of diagonals in the polygon. Now what does n represent? n represents the number of sides in your polygon. All right, The number of sides in a polygon. Let's see if this formula works for the three that we established, and then we'll try it for a different one, okay? So let's go with our triangle. According to our triangle, we know that there should be zero diagonals. Let's see if it works in this formula. So we know that three is the number of sides, so I put that there, times three minus three over two. Remember your algebra, 3 minus 3 is 0, I start with the parentheses, 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is 0, so I get 0 diagonals with a triangle, okay? And so the pattern works there with triangles. 
Let's go to a square. Now, we said that in a square we have four sides, so we're going to say 4, n is 4, 4 minus 3, divided by 2. Let's count it out. 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2 diagonals. So again, looks like the pattern is still holding, okay? Let's try it with a pentagon now. Looks like we might have a good formula. So five sides, five times five minus three over two. Five minus three is two. Five times two is 10. 10 divided by two is five diagonals. Yep, looks like it's working pretty well. So let me, now let's try a problem that's pretty uh, large, something that you couldn't really just count out and, and see it easily. So what I want to do is give you this problem here. I would like you to calculate the number of diagonals that exist in a polygon with 50 sides. Now this would be very impractical to draw, wouldn't it? But with our formula we can be reasonably sure that it would work. So again, the formula, number of sides times in parentheses, the number of sides minus 3 over 2 equals the number of diagonals. Let's put our numbers in. 50, that's our first step, second step. 50 times 50 minus 3 over 2. 50 minus 3 is 47. 47 times 50 Again, all over 2. And let's just do a quick calculation. 50 times 47 is going to give us 2,350 divided by 2. And then for my last step, divide it by 2, and I get 1,175 diagonals in a polygon that has 50 sides. Now, there's plenty of applications for this in real life, so this is kind of a fun little uh, formula to know, but the number of diagonals can represent lots of different things. You know, the number of connections that I can make, for example, corners of a building, uh, in circuitry, plumbing, all sorts of really cool stuff. So uh, I hope this formula was helpful to you, um, and you saw how we reasoned it out. Okay, good luck.